Hi, I'm Rick Morton, and welcome to Profiles for the 1999 Aesthetics, Cosmetics, and Spa Conference in Orlando. Coming to you from Chicago, we are in the heart of the Midwest, and what a beautiful day it is here. We have come here with our good friend Gordon Miller of the NCA, the National Cosmetology Association, actually to uh, talk to him about a program we do for them called Doing It Right. And we thought, what a great place to bring you for Profiles for the Spa Conference, because we are in the midst of a of a great exhibit called Cows on Parade here in Chicago. And 300 artists, all from Chicago, have painted up 300 statues of cows, and they are all over the city. And thousands and thousands of people come here every day and walk around the city to find these cows and see how they're done, who the artist was, and what they're all about. We've also got some great companies to tell you about on this edition of Profiles. Here's a look at what's coming up. All of that, plus we're going to try to give you a look at as many of these 300 cows here in Chicago as we can, plus a couple of surprises as we get started with profiles for the Aesthetics, Cosmetics, and Spa Conference. Well, this is always a really fun part for us on Profiles to come here to our good friends at Dermalogica and the International Dermal Institute here in Southern California. The fact is there are IDI offices and skincare centers around the country. This, of course, the home office for both IDI and Dermalogica. And while we're here, we're going to introduce you to the woman that started the whole thing back in 1983 when Jane Martin Werwan started the International Dermal Institute as the premier uh, esthetician, skin care expert training facilities here in Southern California. Uh, Jane has grown this company to be the leader in its field. In 1986, she started Dermalogica. And of course, unless you've been living in a cave for a long time, you are aware of the fact that Dermalogica certainly for many, many years continues to be one of the most fast growing companies, most successful skin care companies in the business. We are here in one of the training rooms in the IDI offices in Southern California. They are actually uh, teaching each other some new techniques that are new uh, training classes that will be offered to you, the esthetician, very, very soon. You'll hear about them first right here. They have to do with, uh, among other things, rocks. There's a lot to show you, a lot to talk about, lots of people to meet here at IDI and Dermalogica. The names IDI and Dermalogica are synonymous with three things, the highest quality training, cutting edge skincare products, and this woman, Jane Martin Werwan. On this visit to IDI and Dermalogica's headquarters in Southern California, I spent most of the day with Jane as my guide. And nobody knows this company better than the woman who started it all. Concrete floor I've ever seen yeah. in my life. Could eat your dinner off that floor. You could eat your dinner <laughs> off that floor. And this is, I call this the feng shui walk because right. this is that what is that feng shui feng, sh feng shui basically feng. means wind and water and we designed and the building um, and actually if you look kind of back we designed it in keeping with a philosophy that positive energy flows in curves in curves and negative energy flows in straight lines and in nature there's no straight lines it's all curves all curves so the whole building's designed on curves feng shui feng shui it's a japanese thing let's let's talk about the uh, area, what is this? This, this area, uh, well, this is Eve Cole, who is our manager for Chain Accounts. And she manages all of the accounts, including Leonard Drake, mm -hmm. that constitute chains for us. Let me ask you about Leonard Drake while we're here, mm -hmm. and you bring that up. This is a very unique system that you have here, because Leonard Drake is a major skincare center. Mm -hmm. um, I would imagine that most uh, spas and skincare salons around the country would aspire to be like Leonard Drake. How beneficial, how beneficial is that to you on the Dermalogica side of the business, to be able to deal with this and see what's happening every day? Well, Leonard Drake gives us a unique perspective. It allows us to literally be in the front line of dealing with the client every day. So when we talk about a product promotion, when we talk about an educational program, when we talk about a business management system, it's not something that we sat around a conference table and dreamed up and said, oh, we think this would be a good idea now. You know, this is sort of words from, from above. We have practiced it and dealt with it and ironed out the problems at Leonard Drake. 
and we feel it gives us a unique credibility as well as an opportunity mm -hmm. to share that information with our accounts around the world. I think it gives us an opportunity to be an advocate for the industry because we don't just believe in professional skincare, talk professional skincare, we really are in the business of professional skincare as well. And so Leonard Drake serves as an open house to our accounts. Our appointed stockers can come to Leonard Drake, they can observe Leonard Drake, they can copy, duplicate, emulate Leonard Drake as much as they want. All of that material is available to them from our copy in our brochures all the way through to our training programs. What works, what doesn't work, what salaries we pay, what commission structures we pay, it's an open book. Wow. And that serves as our role model for Dermalogica and the success that we have. Great. How, how long have you been in this building now? We've been in this building five years and we're getting ready right now to expand um, and basically we've outgrown this facility. Speaking of facilities, um, correct me if I'm wrong, San Francisco, new one about to be built somewhere? New one, well, San Francisco, we've been in San Francisco for a number of years. We are expanding. We've totally outgrown the premises. Chicago, um, expanding. We've outgrown the premises. Florida, expanding. Western Virginia, we have now expanded. We are now in Chantilly, which is just outside of Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. uh, just moved to new premises in Sydney, Australia. Opened Manhattan last year, which is a fabulous facility for us in New York. And of course, London continues to be our European base. Those are our corporate international dermal institutes and dermological centers. And then we have distributors internationally in 23 other countries. We'll continue our tour with Jane a little bit later, including this surprise, slight interruption of an IDI class in progress. But first, I spoke with Dr. Diana Howard about the latest product development at Dermalogica. And you don't rub this into your skin, you drink it. A lot of stuff sitting here, Diana. You have been a busy, busy, what are you, vice president of technical development That's now? That's right. Like that? So you're the one responsible for all this kind of stuff. And last year we talked about these little things, which I said look kind of like a whale. Remember these? <laughs> These are um, our multivitamin powder. Or, a, or a, a small bomb, you know? But they're, they have been so successful for you. It's amazing how successful this product has been. Um, we can't make it fast enough. We've had such incredible press over it. We've got, as you can see, Courtney Cox and Jennifer Aniston yeah, are hooked on that? it. What they're um, makeup artist. I started using Dermalogica and she introduced them to the product and the next thing you knew we were getting phone calls they absolutely love it and they've been talking about it in the press and it's been incredible. Diane I have to ask you about these three little bottles here because uh, they're interesting looking. This says energy elixir, this is relax elixir and detoxify mm -hmm. elixir. These kind of uh, have a kind of a magical mystical feel to them. <laughs> What's this all about? Well, what they basically are is they're liquid extracts. They are concentrated herbal extracts, and it's a really a new category for us. We've really kind of moved a little bit away from pure skin and body care into this category. And you don't put these on your skin? No, you actually ingest these. Ingest these. That would be drink. That's okay. right. And the way you can, you can either put them sublingually under your tongue, or you can put them very simply. You can just... So you put just, them in how a many cup. drops do you, do you put? 16 drops. So they come out of a drops. nice little dropper bottle mm -hmm. here. And you can either make a hot tea out of it, putting hot water in it. We can use it with sparkling water. You can put an herbal tea with it. Doesn't it smell it lovely? It smells delicious. It's great. Nice licorice smell. That's okay, energy, relax, detoxify. What's it going to do for me? What is what's As the, the name says. Give you energy? That's going to give you energy. I guarantee you, if you put the 16 drops in there with some um, warm or hot water or sparkling water and drank that, you would be energized. And the herbs that we used in there are the Siberian ginseng and the shisandra and damiana and kola nut. All, there's about 10 different herbs in there, all designed to give you a pick up, to pick you up and make you feel better. Relax elixir, obviously the opposite of that. What Absolutely. Is that? Kava and those Kava, kinds kava and passion kava, kava. flower and skull cap, all the herbs, also at least 10 herbs are in there. And uh, detoxify, what is that? Well, what we have found is that one of the biggest complaints people have are headaches, sinuses, allergies. And a lot of this is um, due to toxins that aren't being eliminated readily from the body. So the detoxifying one is uh, designed to help eliminate toxins from the body and to help eliminate um, waste products and th move things through the body more mm. readily. How are these different, Diana, from uh, other products? I mean, obviously you are unique in the skincare industry with what you've created here, but there are other elixirs you see you go into health food stores and you see them. how do these differ from other similar kinds of liquids well we spent the last two years sourcing out a farm 
that we felt were adequately controlling the conditions of growth for these herbs, and they could take the herbs right off the farm, put them in a laboratory, and do their extraction process. So we're guaranteeing freshness. We're guaranteeing the source um, from which the herbs are grown in. We have an outside third party certifying the authenticity of these herbs, that they've never been exposed to anything chemical. Um, we use only natural seaweed fertilizers. There's absolutely no pesticides in of the proximity of the plants. And the real key is they're standardized. We guarantee, regardless of when you grow the plant or when it's harvested, each bottle of elixir will guarantee in a serving the uh, specified amount of active ingredients. And that's what it's all about. You don't want fluctuation, you want consistency. And so by doing that, we can ensure what we're delivering to the consumer every time. The International Dermal Institute provides the one thing that today's esthetician wants and needs, and that's education. And IDI offers more of it than just about anyone in the industry, both classroom and hands-on teaching. Okay, I've kind of burst in here to the uh, afternoon session of one of the classes. This is the European Skin Care Techniques class. This is um, one of the most popular, I guess, one of the uh, typical classes that people like to start out with because it gives them a lot of basic information. The good thing about what they do here at IDI, which I think we've heard Diana talk about and Jane, is that everyone has all the equipment they need to use, all the tools they need to use. They don't come in and find one chair and one model and they have to watch, you know, 80 or 20 people, whatever it is. Everybody gets to do it. You see what we have here is one student, I guess, is in the chair and one student seems to be, are you a student too? Yeah. yeah. How come you got to get it done and she gets to do it? Brenda says. Oh. <laughs> so Brenda just picks, is that it? She just picks? Mm -hmm. hey, is she doing a good job? Mm -hmm. Excellent job? Yeah. How's that feel? Feels very nice. Are you learning anything? Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> a good thing, isn't it? So what they do now, I guess, is that everybody has done a whole facial and now they're taking a, let's see, what are you doing? You're taking the mask off? Mm -hmm. And then will she do you? Yeah. She will. So you get to, so you want to be really good with so her. You can, you can also have it done to you so you know what it feels like. Exactly. And will she be the one that does to you? So you do extra well to her so she does it yeah. uh, extra good to you. I got a chance to see a brand new class with techniques still in development with IDI's training and development manager, Annette King. Annette, this is uh, what you love, isn't it? This is this is my domain. This is yeah, now, curriculum now, development. Which this room is the um, I call this the spa room, but that's not really what you call it, is it? It is our spa treatment room. Okay, right? well this I was close. Yeah, that's spa right. Spa treatment room, and this is like no spa treatment I've seen before. <laughs> yeah. Don't look now. There's three rocks on your chest. <laughs> these are rocks. These are rocks. Actually, these are actually these. these are stones. These are. Um, basalt stones and we've been looking into new age types of therapies and the types of therapies that are really popular within the spa arena and we're starting to adapt um, some of our classes we're looking at different classes we're actually bringing in uh, Mary Hannigan who's a guest speaker for us who teaches the stone therapy mm -hmm. and it's the use of these hot stones on the body centered on the different chakra and energy points and also using them for massage for deep tissue work and being able to heat the muscles and they really impact the body. They work on the energy. And uh, some people believe that the stones aren't even felt when they're on the body. Wow. And, and what you're doing here, as I understand it, is really you're doing a sample class to see you're developing classes now, right? That's right. This. This is actually... I, let's, let's talk about this, because okay. this is very important, obviously. You've developed some uh, new products. That's right. Specifically for this whole body wellness Correct, yeah, the movement is much more now towards longevity types of treatments. The trends that we've been looking for um, and looking into are wellness types of treatments, treatments that really impact the whole body. So along with that, you need to be able to develop your products. So we're looking at stress relief types of treatment oils, toxin relief treatment oils, working on detoxifying the body. Um, also looking at alternatives as massage mediums, so using a kind of ultra-rich body, cream rather than just using oil so being able mm -hmm. to give that option to the client and these are the new products and these are two new products stress that relief would, oil uh, toxin relief treatment oil that works hand in hand with stress relief treatment oil and also our new ultra rich body cream <laughs> well i promised you more of jane Morwand, and we'll get back to jane in just a minute but first i spoke with eve cole about the importance to dermalogica of their very successful leonard drake skincare centers eve this whole 
Leonard Drake Skin Care Center concept is very unique uh, in the business because you've got here a, a skin care company in Dermalogica, an education company in the IDI, and they have an actual salon that really is what they're all about. How does it work here? Right. Yes, it's actually an accumulation of the International Dermal Institute, and we really were set up, Leonard Drake's were set up back in 1989 to be a showcase for other dermological accounts to say, look, this is a standalone business. This is how you can be successful by implementing the training that you get at International Dermal Institute, by implementing the use of dermological products, um, you know, how to successfully retail. This is how you can build your business and be as successful as a Leonard Drake Skincare Center. So um, all of the girls there are trained the International Dermal Institute way, you know, um, exactly the same across the board. So a client can go from one of the salons to the other and get exactly the same treatment. You know, we, we believe that it's we need to keep everything consistent. And um, all of the products with Dermalogica, if we have a new product, a new launch, we actually implement them into Leonard Drake first of all. We try them out there to see how we're going to get response from the therapists who are using the product line and also from um, clients who are receiving treatments and also um, purchasing the products as well. Okay, here she is, and Jane Warwand is still as excited about her business as when she first started it over a decade ago. And nothing excites her more than educating estheticians. Yeah. Class calendar through February of yes. 99, look at these classes. Yeah, this is just a few months. How do you keep track of all this stuff? Well, and let me tell you, this is only dermalogical classes. This is not the International Dermalogical. Oh, this Dermalogica. is not right, which are not product-oriented Exactly, at all, right? exactly. There is uh, much more than this, actually on the International Dermal Institute in addition to, to these. We have um, 54 different classes and the largest team of professional instructors in the industry. I mean, we put more into education at a postgraduate level than any other company in the business. From facilities, from the amount of classes we offer, from the breadth of classes, the qualifications of our instructors, the number of our instructors. We have nine instructors just here in Los Angeles alone. Ooh, There's can we go in here? Letter, so let me see what class it is. Well, she's painting things on this woman's face. Oh, come on, it's your company. What's she doing? This oh, now everybody's gonna see. Everybody looks sat like everybody like sat up straight. <laughs> everybody sat up straight. I was just saying, what great students we have. Um, Brenda's doing a demonstration of a European skincare treatment. No. I hope I have that right because I did not look at the name of the class as I came in, but if I recognize What's that correctly. What's this class? This is Jane. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is my favorite class because it's the most important class that we offer here at the International Dermal Institute. This is the foundation for everyone's treatment. So when they leave this classroom and they go away and they, they actually offer this technique, it's the first rung of their success in, in skincare because it's going to be the foundation and it's a great treatment they're all learning. They're all going to be doing the same standard and it's the same treatment we teach around the world so everyone is at a standard. Well I could have easily spent two days with Jane walking around Dermalogica and the International Dermal Institute but we never seem to have enough time. It's no wonder that this very motivated woman and these two very successful companies are at the top of their industry and for Jane there's just no other way. I don't believe in luck and I don't believe in coincidence. I believe that success is an inside thing. And I believe the foundation of this company's success was, is, and always will be education. We started with the International Dermal Institute. We have really stuck to our guns on the importance of postgraduate education in a non-partisan sense and also from a commercial sense through Dermalogica's own education, which is separate. And I believe that the therapist knows that about us, they understand that about us. It is the single most important and different thing about us. And over the past 15 years, we've had that validated time and time again through the increase in success on all levels. And that carries through for Domologica, Leonard Drake, our chain accounts, the International Dermal Institute. But it all began with education and that is this company's foundation. Well, you know, when people come to Chicago, one of the places that they always come to is here. This is the Wrigley Building. This is kind of a landmark, uh, certainly a tourist attraction, beautiful inside. 
We know the Wrigley family, of course, uh, for the chewing gum, which uh, is a lot of the money, but I think they had the money before that even happened. They were in publishing and probably uh, real estate as well. But this building also, architecturally, is a landmark in the Midwest as one of the most beautiful buildings in this part of the country. This is also where you find a lot of cows. I got to tell you this cow story, and then we're going to look around and see some of the cows. This is the, uh, the talk of Chicago right now, and interestingly, that's really all it was supposed to be. What, they're, what they have done here in the city of Chicago is they've commissioned 300 artists, Chicago-based artists. They have given them each a cow, a sponsor to pay for it. No taxpayer dollars were used for this. And these artists have painted up the cows however they wanted to do it. And then the city has placed these cows all over the place, all over downtown, in parks, in front of buildings, in lobby areas. We are in front of the Wrigley Building by the river. And there are cows all over the place. But the interesting thing also is that they didn't just put them out and tell everybody. They kind of put these out slowly over a couple of weeks. The people in Chicago would see these cows on the street and nobody was talking. Nobody knew why they were there. They thought it was a promotion from the Chicago Bulls at first, but it turns out it has nothing to do with that. Little by little, over two weeks, they got all these 300 cows out. And then I guess the publicity happened and, and the city told everybody what it was all about. They got the idea from Stockholm, Sweden, and the real bottom line to it is that there is no reason for it except um, as a platform for people to talk. It gives people something to talk about, and it's happened for the last couple of months. It's here for about four months, I think, over the summer, and people in this city are just talking about the cows. Did you see the one on whatever street, you know, and it's great. And we're going to go right now and show you some of these cows. It's just the coolest thing. It's great. It's called Cows on Parade. Have a look. Okay, you never know what you're going to find. This one is called the Out of Cow Towner. Uh, artist Manley Armstrong and Karen Spiglin, sponsored by BBD&O, big advertising agency. This would be the Out of Cow Towner. You can see there's a knapsack, a baseball cap, sunglasses, and a camera. Uh, the Out of Cow Towner. There's more. Uh, this is called Classic Cow, John James McNeil Mestful. This is. Uh, I don't know why this is classic, but it's this E-I-E-I-O. You see that, Rob, E-I-E-O? The story of I-O, not to be confused with the other story. Now, this one's kind of different. I mean, the, the artist has obviously cut it up. This one is called Hey Diddle Diddle, as in the cat and the fiddle and the cow, you know, jumped over the moon. We'll be back as we continue with the show. Don't go away, there's a lot more to come from Chicago, land of strange cows. Doctors Dermatologic Formula, DDF, was founded in 1992 when Dr. Howard Sobel, a well-known New York dermatologist and plastic surgeon, filled a need for his clients by combining the therapeutic ingredients typically found in skincare products with more holistic ingredients, making products consumers could use and derive true benefits from at home. DDF is now one of the fastest growing companies in the skincare industry. Dr. Howard Sobel. What happened, it just evolved. I saw many patients in my practice that wanted a specific product for their particular problem. So what happened was as we saw patients, we formulated different products for a particular patient for whatever problem they had. And over a period of time, we had a lot of patients and a lot of different products, and we tried to put the patient with the product. And, but what happened was there were, patients gave out the products to other people that had similar problems. Some of their friends had similar problems, some of their cousins, their, their mother, their father. And what happened, we had people coming into the office that wanted to buy the product but not see the doctor. So we thought, gee, that's not the best way to go because it's very difficult to run a practice and have people just walking off the streets. So what we try to do at this point is develop products that would be specific for a certain dermatological problem and we could tie the two up together. And that's how we formed Doctor's Dermatologic Formula. It was supposed to be a therapeutic approach. The whole line was supposed to be designed for someone that could see an esthetician or they could be diagnosed by an esthetician or some form of skincare person mm -hmm. other than the dermatologist. Right. Okay, so it, it, it is going to take a knowledge of skincare. Someone is not going to just necessarily walk in and uh, buy it off the shelf. Okay, they need to know what their problem is. 
and once you know your problem, you could tie up the product to that particular problem. And the esthetician will help with that. Retinol Energizing Serum encourages the skin's own renewal with a combination of vitamin A and potent antioxidants. It revitalizes and improves the texture and appearance of the skin. Okay, retinol works very similar to Retin-A, but now we have the added synergistic effect of adding proteins and antioxidants to one formulation that even increases what retinol is going to do or even just Retin-A was going to do by itself. By adding the protein and adding the antioxidants, we have now in one compound something that's going to increase the effects of getting rid of sun damage better than any individual one of these individual ingredients. Moisturizing Photo Age Protection SPF 30 is a lightweight, easily absorbed moisturizing formula to help minimize free radical skin damage caused by exposure to UVA and UVB sun rays, as well as environmental pollutants. It contains 10 antioxidants for maximum protection from skin damage and premature aging. Well, basically we all need sunscreen, but what we've done now with the first ones combine antioxidants with sunscreens. As most of you know, that we're constantly having free radical formation, whether we go out in the sun or not. And what's happening, these free radicals are breaking down our cells. And we need something to counter the free radicals. So the antioxidants work against these free radical formation and help prevent damage and help repair whatever damage that's going on at a particular time. So we've got a two-in-one situation. Bioactive Nourishing Serum is nourishing and revitalizing to all skin types. It supplements vital minerals and collagen building proteins. Vitamin K cream is a soothing cream that may prevent broken blood vessels and spider veins, as well as accelerating the healing time for bruises. EPF Serum C3, Environmental Protection, is a super light, non-greasy formula for all skin types. It's specially formulated to block free radicals, which are most responsible for cell membrane damage. Some of the vitamin C's on the market have very, very little of the vitamin C, and they very often will have just ascorbic. And we have three different forms of the vitamin C, and that's ascorbic, ascorbate, and ascorbo, and they all work differently. Erase Eye Gel contains a blend of seven natural bioactive ingredients to treat external and internal causes of dark under eye circles and puffiness. We've developed a compound that has vitamin K in it, and what Vitamin K does is it decreases the fragility of the blood vessels. The blood vessels are very fragile in that area, and they dilate up. Okay, and the vitamin K will help stabilize the fragile blood vessels underneath the eye. Bay Gel 4 combines four potent skin lightening ingredients to help minimize and lighten hyperpigmentation. I see it a lot in my practice, and it's one of the most difficult things to uh, alleviate because chemical peels by itself don't work because very often if you put a heavy chemical peel on a person and you can one out of ten get someone better but what happens is the other nine out of ten after you get the pigmentation problem you alleviate it they wind up getting post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation wind up getting darker than you originally started so it has to be a slow process of getting rid of pigmentation and what works best is light peels and using products that have hydroquinone or kojic acid and one product, just because one product works well, sometimes products work better when you put them together. So we formed uh, actually a compound with kojic acid and hydroquinone, and they work synergistically. Because one works well, the two work even better. And they work a little differently. Don't go away because when we come back here on Profiles, Paul Primo, the you vice president? Not yet. Not yet. Director of Marketing, Development, and Education and Sales. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Indispensable guy for MD Formulations. He's one of our best friends on Profiles. He has brought us here to uh, Pasadena. We are in Southern California. What a beautiful day it is, too. And we have come to Amadeus Spa. This is a wonderful 13,000 square foot salon spa here in Pasadena. Big believers in MD formulations. When Absolutely. we come back, Paul Primo, don't go away. VP? No, you're not a VP.
So Gordon, you brought us here to Chicago. We're in front of your offices. I understand a gorgeous view you've got up there on the what, 23rd floor or something? 22nd. 22nd floor. Spectacular. Executive, executive directors of the NCA get the best views that's in the... In the contract. That's in the contract. So let's talk about um, the spa business because we think of the NCA, I think of the NCA, National Cosmetology Association. Right away, we think hairdressers. Mm -hmm. And yet cosmetology, of course, from the get-go has been all about skin care as well. Estheticians right. is all part of it. How does the NCA participate at the spa level with the spa people and the estheticians? Well, everybody in the spa is, is a part of the industry, and we're all about the entire industry, the hairdresser, the nail technician, and, and certainly the esthetician. Um, and in particular for the estheticians, I think of, of great interest would be NCA's involvement with Sedesco. Um, for those who don't know, Sedesco is probably the most renowned organization of estheticians in the world today. They're based in Zurich, and we are the um, United States section of Sedesco. Uh, two to three times a year, we offer a five-day prep class for the, what they call the Sedesco examination, which allows people to be Sedesco diplomats, which is uh, kind of like the, the educational version of the United Nations of estheticians. It's a really um, rigorous, comprehensive exam, and it's um, a way for estheticians to prove that they know pretty much everything that there is to know about that side of the business. If I'm an esthetician, if I work in a spa and I'm at this show right now, and I don't know about the NCA, or I don't know what the NCA has to offer me, what should I do? What's the next step for me as an esthetician? Call us, call the NCA. Um, we've got lots to offer. Any and all salon professionals and estheticians are a big part of, of what we stand for. Um, they're an important part of the industry and we've got programs for them, educational and otherwise, and, and we invite them to be a part of the NCA and join all the things that we're doing. I am in Pasadena in Southern California, the home, of course, of the Rose Parade and the Rose Bowl and Amadeus Spa and Salon. This is a beautiful place and we have come here with our good friend Paul Primo, who is the Director of Sales and Market Development for MD Formulations. MD, of course, uh, certainly one of the best known skin care products in the entire industry for many, many years, known for its tremendous research and development. They have created some amazing products. They've got some new ones we're going to tell you about. But Paul wanted us to come here so you can meet the people at this very, very trendy, beautiful spa and find out why MD Formulations is a product of choice for them. We have got a lot to show you, including some awards, some new products, and Paul Primo, who's going to tell us what's happening at MD Formulations, let's go inside the Amadeus Spa. Amadeus Salon and Spa is what a spa should be, designed for complete client comfort and satisfaction. They're truly full service, offering clients every service from head to toe. And they believe that for clients to get the most out of their services, they need to go home with the right maintenance product. Paul Primo of MD Formulations invited us to Amadeus to find out about the exciting things happening at one of the hottest skincare companies in the business. Amadeus Spa, this is great. And I'm going to talk about why we're here and all that. But first, Paul, I want to find out why you're carrying this award. This great? And, and the winner is? And the winner is MD Formulations. Rick, this is... Uh, it's an Abbey Award, yeah, of course. Yeah, it's an right? Abbey Award. And uh, we were thrilled that MD Formulations won Best New Product Marketing for 1998. And we won this for two new products that we actually we introduced last year on Profiles, mm -hmm. and that's the uh, VitaPlus Night Recovery Complex and the VitaPlus Hydrofermi Mask. A lot of Abbey's given out every year. Right. Only one given out in this category is the Absolutely. best new product marketing skincare. We were thrilled. You we should be thrilled. thrilled. Yeah. This is quite an honor. Yeah. You want to put that down? It Absolutely. weighs 22 yeah, it's, pounds. It's a ton. <laughs> yeah, I had to bring this back from Acapulco. That was, that was <clears> tough. Paul, I want to ask you first why you've brought us to this. We are in the Amadeus Spa here in Pasadena in Absolutely. Southern California. Probably one of the best known spas in California. Right. Certainly a gorgeous facility. I mean, this just really the retail is. area that we're in here. I see the MD formulation stuff up there. Anyway, of course. why did you want to bring us to this spa? Well, last year, you know, Rick, we spent a lot of time talking about our technology at MD formulations and what we're doing behind the scenes. I think this year what I wanted to do is to bring you right into the trenches, so to speak, mm -hmm. and to, to allow us to take you on a journey through what's really happening out there in this incredible industry. And it's really the spa industry that is, you know, several years ago we, we used to talk about the, the full service salon. Well, the spa industry is, is certainly the full service salon of the new millennium. Mm -hmm. 
So I wanted to bring you here and introduce you to some of the players, some of the estheticians. Hopefully we can uh, meet one of the principal uh, owners here and talk to him about what MD Formulations and Amadeus have been doing together mm -hmm. as, as a partnership. And that's what I'd like, like to emphasize here is talk about our partnership. The partnership that exists between MD Formulations and Amadeus is obvious in this incredible retail area. I asked Paul Primo the importance of spas having a focus on retail products and sales. Well, it's a business. I mean, we have to look at our industry, take it seriously as a business. Now, we're, I feel one of our, our unique points of difference in, in, in professional skincare is our ability to offer professional services. That certainly differentiates us from the department store and the drug store. But the fact still remains that skincare last year, consumer purchases of skincare products exceeded $5 billion dollars of which still a majority of that, the high 90s, the 98 percent of it is being generated from the department store and the drug store. But we see a monumental growth that's occurring in our industry. Uh, consumers are demanding our services. They're demanding professional products, products that are different from what they can get at the department store and the drug store. So we have um, a unique opportunity here. And it's, it's, it's spas like Amadeus, that's why I brought you here, that are really doing it right in my opinion. They're offering hair services, nail services, spa services, and more importantly, retail. If you, if you just look at this area, this when you walk in, this is serious retail. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I wish I could disclose the amount of money they do every month at retail, because it's phenomenal. It's really phenomenal. This spa really does a tremendous amount of product sales, especially with MD formulations. I asked retail manager Maricela Villegas about the importance of managing such a huge retail area at a spa. Let me, let me ask you about, about retailing because you're the retail manager, right? Yes. So all of this area behind us is your responsibility. And I'm not going to ask you specifically how much money you sell every month, but I know it's a bunch, yes, isn't it? It is. Big number. Big number. Big number. Why is it important for you to have MD Formulations as a retail product? Well, all of our estheticians really um, like the product, they sell the product, so we want to have the product available for our clients because our clients are very familiar with the product and uh, just as much as we need to have you know, our hair products, shampoos, conditioners, we also need to have um, the skincare line for them and um, MD Formulations is a line that um, our clients are really familiar with, they really like the results they get. So we just always have to have the product available for them. Do you get asked a lot of information about products? I would think that you would need to be fairly educated yourself on this. I have learned quite a bit about the product. Our clients tend to be very, um, they're very sophisticated. They know um, what they want and they expect a lot from their products that they use. So they're aware of the great benefits that their skin can receive from using the MD Formulations product. So um, they, you have to have uh, product knowledge in order to um, really sell the product and um, we can provide that for them. Just uh, walking around the, the beautiful spa here, Amadeus, in uh, Southern California, we're in Pasadena of course, this place is uh, huge, 13,000 square feet, uh, lots of hallways. This particular one leads from the cosmetic department, a complete MAC cosmetic salon there, uh, to the rest and relaxation area where people can get lunch or just lie down and read a magazine. Um, I'm looking at their portfolio here. It's about 20 some odd pages of everything from bride to be services, hands and feet, hair, uh, oxygen, facials, therapeutic massage. They, have, they offer everything you could possibly imagine. Of course, big believers here in MD Formulations products, which is why we came here with Paul Primo, because this is the epitome of what a spa today should be. It is uh, state-of-the-art services, state-of-the-art products, tremendous retail. They retail every imaginable hair care product and skin care as well as nails. They really seem to be doing everything right and when MD Formulation said you got to see our favorite spa and they brought us here, we can understand why. Good afternoon, I'm Dad Spa. This is Tony speaking. May I help you? This really is a state-of-the-art spa with everything from computerized appointments to telemarketing to individualized personal treatments and massage rooms. This Amadeus Spa in Pasadena is one of the best we've seen. Okay, I'm wandering around this beautiful place, this Amadeus Spa. We're kind of in a dark hall because this is one of the skincare hallways here. And Ingrid, I think, is not busy any longer because she just had a client. Hello, Ingrid. Hi, Rick. Come on in. You're done. I'm done. She's gone. 
And you've changed this thing already at I all? I have. I'm ready for the next client. <laughs> you work a lot, obviously. Yes, I do. You enjoy this? I do. Really? When did you become an esthetician? About nine years ago. So it's been a long time. Let me I look at your hands. You must have very soft, wonderful hands, huh? Oh, you do. <laughs> very good. What's the difference in a, in a uh, cosmetologist or a cosmetician, I guess they used to call mm -hmm. it, an esthetician? Same thing? It's the same thing. They changed the name, so we're now known as estheticians instead of cosmeticians. Are there new products, new techniques, new science that you know now that you didn't have to know nine years ago? Have you seen change in the industry? Absolutely. Really? Yes. More difficult? Uh, things are becoming more sophisticated. Tell me about MD formulations. Why do you use it here? It gives us really great results. Uh, every client that has tried it, for the most part, is really pleased. The skin just becomes a lot more healthy looking, more smooth. Uh, it helps with pigmentation, with acne. And now with the introduction of the new uh, Vita Plus line, we've been seeing even better results. You know, as spas go, it seems like Amadeus is as close to perfect as they get. And the fact is, MD formulations could just be the perfect product for them. Paul Primo knows this industry better than almost anyone I've met. And I sat down to talk to him about Amadeus, about MD formulations, and about the tremendous success they've had with their advertising and promotion. On the serious side, I want to talk to you about a few things that I think are important not only to you at MD Formulations, but certainly to the esthetician and the spa owner. Right. We've got some copies of some magazine covers. This is uh, Self Magazine, um, L right. Health Magazine, beautiful piece in uh, in Glamour, and Countless many more. Yeah, many, many, many more. Correct me if I'm wrong, 53, 63 million? 93 million impressions. No, I'm 19, sorry, I thought you said 93 million? Yeah, 90? 93 million impressions in 1998. Now these are, are impressions for people that don't know. This is right. consumers getting the MD message. These, these are consumers that are reading the top beauty magazines and journals. The Allures, the Elles, the Glamour, the Town and Country, Cosmo and these are mentions for MD formulations. You know, the other thing, Rick, other than the 93 million, of those 93 million impressions, of all the placements that we've had, over 30% of our placements resulted in our 800 number being listed. So what does this mean to the esthetician is that the consumer is gonna call 800 number and said, you know, I read about Vita Plus, or I read about Night Recovery, or the new Moisture Defense, where can I get it? So what we're doing is that we're driving demand for the product, we are a PR driven company where a lot of, a lot of companies will, will take the route of advertising, which is very, very good, but these are endorsements from some of the top beauty journalists mentioning our product and telling the consumer, this is the product you have to have. And so we, we get uh, numerous calls every day from these PR mentions. Paul, do you think it's because over the years this company has been so recognized for the scientific research that's gone into the products, it's easier for magazines to pick up the phone and call a company like MD because they know they're going to get good information. Does that help you? Well, you know, that's a very strong position for us, you know, and uh, Marcella was talking a little bit earlier, the retail specialist here at Amadeus, that consumers are very savvy. They're very sharp, and uh, they can differentiate between hype and real substance. And what we feel is a significant trend that's happening, as these consumers are so educated, they're wanting to know, if your product says it's going to do this, where is your proof that you can show us that it is indeed going to do that, and I can experience that myself. So it's no longer the, the marketing of the past of just selling hope in a jar, if I may borrow that, that phrase, but it's, it's about real skin care science, and that's what MD Formulation stands for. We put a significant amount of resources and to scientific research about, you know, about with our products. And I get estheticians ask me all the time, when are you going to come out with this type of product and that type of product? I said, we only come out with products that are scientifically sound, that really are going to demonstrate really remarkable results with your skin and your client's skin. Speaking of which, brings us to this. This is Moisture Defense Antioxidant Hydrating Serum. Right. New product. Brand new. This is supposed to be the best product like this the industry has ever seen. How'd you do that? Well, you know, Rick, I'm going to give a real quick crash course in skin physiology because that's what, that's our benchmark, our reference for developing new products. We don't just look at trends in the market. We, we consider that, but we take a look at that. What is, what is going to result in healthy skin? What is healthy skin? And if we, if we picture the ideal healthy skin, the picture that comes to my mind is a baby. 
You look at a baby skin, it's just perfect. It's smooth, it's supple, it's soft, it doesn't have any wrinkles. Of course, it hasn't been exposed to the environment. And hasn't gone through the process that we call aging. That type of skin, when you look at it, has a, a chemical makeup that we all long for when, when we get older. So what we've done is we've isolated some of those ingredients, those chemicals within human skin, and we formulated it into this product. So this product is designed to supply phenomenal hydration to the skin, but it goes beyond that. It actually helps to mimic the skin's own natural moisture factors but it also protects the skin from environmental damage through antioxidants. It's very lightweight, non-acnogenic, meaning it doesn't cause acne, non-comedogenic, doesn't cause the, the, the blemishes on the skin, and uh, the, the, the results that you see, the benefits, is the skin is super hydrated without feeling like you have anything on your skin. So it's the ideal moisturizer. Paul, let's talk about this for a second. This is, um, this is kind of nice, and Rob, I don't know if you can see this or not, but this is a uh, nice great? little bag. Yeah. And it's got uh, products in it. Here's the, uh, facial, the lotion. facial lotion. Here's the daily protector. Here's your, uh, your famous Vita <clears throat> Plus. Famous Vita Plus. You got some uh, samples, some product samples in here, and an educational brochure. Right. This is kind of unique to this industry, isn't it? Well, you know what this is, Rick, is what we call a, a retail pull-through tactic. It's, a, it's one thing for a company to sell its goods into a, a salon or a spa which is you know, half the battle, so to speak. The other part is getting it into the consumer's hands because if the salon is successful and the salon is retailing successfully, obviously then they're gonna purchase more products. So we try to think of what we call pull-through retail tactics to get more product in consumer's hands and drive demand. And this is what we call a purchase with purchase. You, you purchase a product at regular retail value at the salon and you get this bag and all the other goodies in it for a discounted price. In this, in this case, $10 more, but the value is 103 mm. So this helps the salon to sell more of them and to turn their inventory over quicker. Because the esthetician is really busy, and they're, they're in the treatment room, and they're, they're concentrating on their services, and they want to make sure that, that that client has the best experience in their spa possible. And sometimes they forget about the home care and the retail part. So this makes it very easy for them. It's a self-selling piece been phenomenally successful and perhaps you've probably seen it in some of the, the bigger uh, department, you know, department stores and the, the, the larger companies out there in department stores use this tactic all the time. I want to take just a minute to talk to you a little bit about uh, retailing because of course at ND Formulations not only product development and research is important but also the ability to sell products out of the salon, out of the spa. This happens to be their brand new moisture defense. You're going to be hearing so much about this product in the next year or so. This is pretty phenomenal. Um, brand new product, beautiful blue bottle. It is flying off the shelves. And of course, that's what retail is all about. They've got over 30, 32 different products that can be retailed from the salon. And this, of course, for the spa means that not only do you have products you can use with your clients, which work, but clients can take them home and use them at home, which of course is what it's all about. You make extra money. Uh, this company is really big on retailing and they not only make great products but they teach you how to use them and more important in this case they teach you how to sell them. So when you get a chance to talk to the people at MD Formulations find out how these products not only benefit your customers but they can also benefit your bottom line. MD Formulations continues to grow and with the help of some of the country's best spas like Amadeus in Pasadena there's just no end in sight. Simply put um, our, our continued effort in, in R&D, do product innovation, our commitment to the salon and to the spa industry that we will, will remain exclusive to the salon and spa industry, and our commitment to education. Education is a critical success factor in the spa industry, and we have really made some phenomenal headway in our education department with uh, thought leaders like Nina Curtis and Jill Maddock and uh, even myself out there teaching the estheticians not only about skin, but teaching them about business. And I think that's the one aspect of our industry that we need to hone in more on is about the business of professional skin care. How to maximize your success, how to partner with the right company, and how to grow. We want our salons and spas to grow with us as a partner. Well, 
as we uh, roam around Chicago looking at the some 300 pieces of art, uh, cows on parade here in Chicago, this one is called This Is Not a Cow. I don't know why, because it still looks like a cow, but it's covered with, um, you know, like colored mirror tiles. This was done by Thomas P. Jacob, one of the 300 artists, and it's sponsored by the Equitable Life Assurance Society. Not a cow. We'll find more. Uh, this is interesting. This is called suit because it's covered in uh, in leather. It's kind of it's kind of strange to see a cow in a leather suit, you know. But um, interesting. 300 artists. You're bound to see a little bit of everything. Now this is, uh, if nothing else, it's colorful. This is called Herd Instinct, Catherine. Tim writes or something like that. This has a poem. I guess she wrote a poem. It says, the herd is not a compliment. From a certain point of view, it hints of dull conformity. You follow the leader and move. Thus the story of cows on parade here in Chicago. Interesting, huh? Don't go away because when we come back here on Profiles, Marty Holmes, the chairman and CEO, president, all those things of Belvedere here in Belvedere, Illinois. We're going to talk to you about this company, which is uh, probably the uh, best known furniture manufacturing company in the hair salon business. Now will be soon the number one name in the spa business with Belvedere Spa 2000. Marty's going to tell us all about that when we come back. Don't go away. There's a whole lot more to come on Profiles. What's he doing? You know, on Profiles, we try to uh, keep you up to date as much as we can with what's happening in the industry. And of course, the spa business is growing by leaps and bounds. This woman, Hannah Lori Levy, I love that name, Hannah Lori Levy, is uh, really doing a great deal to help the spa business, to help you grow your industry by um, starting the Day Spa Association, what is it, three years ago? Four, Four years, years ago. Four years ago. Let's talk about the Day Spa Association because it's unique in this business. You are doing something that obviously helps the day spa owners. Let's talk about what it is, what is the day spa association, and what is it that the benefit is to the uh, spa owner? Well, the day spa association basically is uh, a clearinghouse for the day spa industry to make sure that the name uh, day spa is used in the proper way, that uh, the services that are being administered in a day spa are administered by licensed technicians and technicians who have been trained uh, properly in the products they are using, that the environment of a day spa is serene and uh, nurturing, that not any salon that adds a massage table in the back of their salon can call themselves a day spa, that the um, consumer needs to know what to expect from a day spa and feel comfortable, safe, and um, gets what the day spa promised them to do. If they go into a salon and get a massage or a facial in the back of a uh, hair salon that's wild and, and jumping and they think they're in a day spa, the day spa industry is not being served very well. So we have set guidelines of uh, what is a day spa and we do accredit day spas according to these guidelines. Hannah Laura, when they when a spa joins the association, which costs what only a hundred dollars or something? Less than a hundred dollars a year. Less than a hundred dollars a year. What are the direct benefits that they see immediately? They are included in the day spa directory, which is um, published two to three to four times a year, depending. Uh, as soon as we run out of a, of a one edition, we'll do another one. Um, this directory can also be found on the World Wide Web. Uh, we have a beautiful website, uh, quite extensively, and um, uh, if a day spa has their own website, they can link to it uh, free of charge, so people can just click on their name and get to their website as well, and we provide this free of charge to members. They also get a membership certificate, which they can hang up in their spa. They get a decal, which they can put on their door a window that they are a member of a nationwide as association for the day spa industry. 
We have uh, an accreditation program in place as well, as I just mentioned before, where they get another more beautiful or bigger certificate that, uh, that attests to their accreditation. And they can also use a different logo uh, that says that they are accredited day spa. In addition to that, we offer our members uh, free subscription to uh, Day Spa Magazine, American Spa Magazine, Dermascope, um, discounted subscription to Skin Inc. and PCI, that's the Aesthetic Medical Journal. There you have it. Everything you need to know about the Day Spa business from this woman, Hannah Lori Levy. She'll be here on the convention floor. You can walk around, you can see her, tell her to tell you everything that you need to know, how you can become a member of the Day Spa Association. And uh, we'll give you the number here on the screen. You can call her, her email address, become a part of it. It's part of the spa business. It's your business. We'll be back with more right after this. Thanks. Thank you very much, Mike. Well, I am in Belvedere, Illinois, a little bit outside of Chicago, a city, by the way, spelled B-E-L-V-I-D-E-R-E. -E -E, and uh, this is spelled B-E-L-V-E-D. -E -E, never mind. It's something we'll get into later on. But Belvedere, in case you didn't know it, for something like 70, 71 years has been the leading manufacturer of salon furnishings and salon designs in the professional beauty industry, the beauty salon industry. Now with the introduction of Belvedere Spa 2000, they are set to take over the spa, destination spa and day spa industry as well. We're gonna show you some terrific equipment that they are bringing in from Europe called Bouvier. This is top of the line stuff. You are going to be impressed. And this company can do it better than anybody. There's a lot to show you here, so let's get started here at Belvedere. In just a few minutes, we'll show you this beautiful Bouvier tub, part of the new Belvedere Spa 2000 line. And we'll show you around this huge manufacturing facility at Belvedere, the biggest in the industry. But let's start at the top with the man who's brought the Spa 2000 line to Belvedere, CEO Marty Holmes. Marty, let's take a minute to um, talk about this company because... You know, while in the beauty industry, the hair industry, of course, that we know and love, Belvedere is the name of names. I mean, you've been around, what, 1,700 years in this company, something like that? Well, this is a 70-year-old 70, 70 company. 70-year-old company. The people that are in the spa business, the spa industry, a lot of companies may not be familiar with Belvedere. So let's talk for just a second about the history of this company. How did it start? How did it grow? How did you get to be the giant that you are now? Well, Belvedere is a manufacturing company, and it started in the late 20s, uh, porcelain enameling uh, cast iron shampoo bowls, and that's how it got its start. By the mid-50s, it was a full-line manufacturer of products for hair salons. And over the ensuing years, we've expanded into new areas of manufacturing, and most recently uh, into the spa area. We're calling this effort Spa 2000, Belvedere Spa 2000. What is it you think it's important for uh, a spa to understand or a spa owner to understand about this company when they're out looking for equipment, when they're out looking for um, Vichy showers and tubs and things that they have to buy to, to build their spa business? What should they be looking for in a company? Well, that's an that's a easy answer because the spas themselves have provided that answer to me. These are expensive items, and they are highly engineered items. And like buying a car, occasionally things go wrong, and the spa owners I've talked to have been just at their wits' end because they cannot get technical service after the sale on these products. So one very important uh, consideration when buying spa equipment is service, technical service after the sale. Belvedere's long history of manufacturing puts them in a unique position in the spa industry. For Marty Holmes, experience in manufacturing is critical to their success with their spa customers. Well, I think it is. I think we've talked about this before. Um, the control of quality is critical in all of these products. And the speed with which you can get product to a customer is important. And when you are a manufacturer, you control those things and you control the, the quality level in the product and you control the quality level in the manufacturing process. So it's both, quality is both in the design engineering and in the carrying out of that design through the manufacturing process. I want to take just a second here to uh, talk about parts actually because uh, I am back in part of the warehouse here 
at Belvedere in Illinois. And I'm holding something that would be very common if you owned a spa or a day spa. This is a hose that would be attached probably either to uh, one of your hydro tubs or maybe as part of a shower or a wet room. The thing about it is if you have uh, bought a piece of equipment over the last 10 years, five years from some importer who brought it in from Italy or France or Germany or wherever they might have brought it in, and it came into their marketing warehouse somewhere in New York and they shipped it to you and then you call back in a month, two months, four months and say, you know that shower, that thing that we hold, that whatever, doesn't work anymore, you've got a problem because typically these companies don't store parts, they don't offer great service. This is the difference between Belvedere and Belvedere Spa 2000 and almost everybody else that sells this kind of product in this country. Belvedere is a huge manufacturing facility, has been for many, many years, like over 70 years in this country. When they bring in products, as the beautiful hydro tubs that they bring in from Germany of the Bouvier line, which is part of the Belvedere Spa 2000 line, they also bring in hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of parts. So when you call Belvedere and you say, uh, I think something's wrong, they can send a service technician out. If it needs a new part, they have it. It's as simple as that. This may be a $12, $20, $50 part, but if you've got to wait four months for it, it doesn't do you a whole lot of good. A part like this, for instance, this is some extremely complicated, heavy brass valve that really is an important part of a hydrotherapy tub. If something happens to this valve and you have to wait a couple of months to get it, you're out of business. And especially if you're a small spa with maybe one tub. Belvedere solves that problem because what they sell, they service. It's been part of this company for 70 years. It will continue with Spa 2000. What Belvedere Spa 2000 brings to the spa industry is the highest quality line of professional spa equipment anywhere. Imported from Bouvier, Europe's leading spa equipment manufacturer, the Equinox Hydrotherapy Tub with 144 individual air and water jets, ergonomic design, therapy attachments, and state-of-the-art electronics is everything we've come to expect from Belvedere. Only the best. Donna Black and Michelle Mulner are interior designers and sales consultants for Belvedere, and I asked them about the importance of getting into the spa business. I think the spa market is a good uh, merger with the salon market. I think they complement each other, and I think there's a lot of excitement there. Michelle, what about this kind of equipment? I mean, this is pretty high-tech stuff. It is. It's different than, although beauty chair is pretty high-tech, but do you have to learn now a whole different genre of tools that you need to sell? There's a little bit of learning involved. However, it does go hand-in-hand hand with the salons in that it's all about service. And so our customers are excited about learning about something new, and we get a lot of questions. And so it's a little bit of learning. However, it goes hand-in-hand hand with the salons. What about you've been doing a lot of design. You're an, actually a salesperson and a designer. That's correct. How is it going to change for you in designing spas and day spas for your customers? Because you, you have designed hundreds and hundreds of salons for customers. Is, is it similar? It is similar. It is a different approach. Even though we are now entering the spa market, I have been doing spas, mm -hmm. um, space planning them for some time. So it is a familiar area right, for me. Right, because many of Belvedere's clients, of course, have had day spas attached to this. Absolutely. Spa. Michelle, what do you think the difference is going to be now for your customers that find out, how are they going to react when they find out that Belvedere now can offer them spa equipment as well as, as salon equipment? I think they will look to us even more so as a leader in that um, spas are a new trend that we're moving towards in that they can come into a showroom and view these pieces of equipment. I think it's going to generate a lot of excitement. As salespeople, what's the reason that a salon or a spa should buy and does buy from Belvedere? What's oh, the big reason? The basically uh, big reason is quality. I think Belvedere's name is associated with quality. And so with that, uh, it's a hard act to follow. You know, as I walk around this showroom, one of many in the United States here at Belvedere, you can't help but be reminded of the fact that this company has such a history in the professional beauty industry, selling products to beauty salons for over 70 years, and now with Belvedere Spa 2000, getting into the spa business full speed ahead. This is a company that knows what they're doing. And when you look around at all the products, and specifically the new spa products here, you think about the fact that it's easy to pick up a catalog from somebody and find a tub or find a Vichy shower or a wet table and send out a check and get an order and get a piece of equipment back and worry about who's going to service it, how's it going to be installed, 
who's behind it, what's the company like that I just spent thousands of dollars for. You don't have that problem with Belvedere because Belvedere has a sales force in this industry that's second to none. They have got many, many, many design experts that can help you design your spa and create the spa that you want, whether you want to expand from one skincare room and add a wet room, or whether you want to build an entire day spa or destination spa for that matter. Belvedere has the resources, the equipment, the personnel, the expertise to do just that. There is nothing like working with a company that knows what they're doing. Come down to the convention floor, talk to the people at Belvedere. Belvedere Spa 2000's Vichy Shower is the epitome of what spas want today. It's simple, clean, and classic, and what you'd expect from the industry's leading manufacturer. The swivel shower bar adjusts, the control panel mounts on either side of the table, and the face shield is positionable for client comfort. The scotch hose is perfect for muds and seaweed treatments in the wet room. I asked Bouvier's president, Alain Juan, why his company chose Belvedere as their partners in America. I felt immediately the quality of Belvedere, immediately. And uh, I think that uh, Bouvier and Belvedere, we, uh, we were obliged to, to make a kind of wedding, you know, a business wedding. Because of their quality, because of our quality, we made together. And it was also a question of opportunity for us and for them. That's it. Whether it's the newest in design or the finest in top-of-the-line spa equipment, Belvedere Spa 2000 is off to a great start. One of the beauty industry's most respected names has become the spa industry's hottest, President and CEO Marty Holmes. Where is it you, you plan to go in this? Where do you think this industry and Belvedere's part in this spa business is going to be in five or ten years? You must think it's a potential bright future or you wouldn't be investing so much in it. Yes, it's not... It's not just that it's new and it's happening in the United States. This is, this is a set of services that have been provided around the world for hundreds of years. This is not something new. The newness in the United States is the conversion to not just the destination spa, which destination spas are still being built, uh, but the day spa for shorter visits with the same services. Mm -hmm. And so we know that this will be an, a continuing, growing set of services offered to the client of the, uh, the current spa or the hair salon. So we think it's a bright future. You're right, we wouldn't have invested in our manufacturing time and our design time and our uh, marketing efforts and the costs that those imply if we didn't think it was a, uh, a, a potentially big market and a growing market. There's going to probably be two or three people who are major suppliers to this market and I think the people with the good quality and the good service are going to emerge on top. We plan that Belvedere will be that, that company that emerges on top. You know, if you've never been to Chicago in the summertime, and I've been, most of the times I've come to Chicago, unfortunately, has been in the wintertime. This is a gorgeous day here, and it's beautiful. And what you see here is the Chicago River. And if you've never been to this city, you've probably seen it in pictures because it is typically what's shown. And it runs all the way through the city. You see some tourist boats. You can take a ride and go all around the city, and it's very nice and beautiful. But they also have water taxis, and I am told by our good friend Gordon Miller, who lives here, um, that for $1.50 you can get on a water taxi in the morning if you live in the right place and actually people take it to work instead of spending you know, $9 on a regular taxi. This uh, also is unique because it was originally just a river and it has grown over the years, many, many years, into a virtual canal system throughout the city of Chicago. And it turned out that it wasn't, when they did that, it wasn't running in the right direction. The Army Corps of Engineers actually reversed the flow of water uh, of this river, so it became the opposite way. Isn't that amazing? I mean, I guess they can do whatever they want. And now it runs the other way. I don't know what matters. It all goes to the same place, but this is the Chicago River.
Staying competitive means staying ahead of nail trends, and odor-free acrylics are the wave of the future. Clarité from OPI, the leaders in odor-free technology, is the most advanced odor-free system ever, representing completely new technology that brings the art of sculptured nail enhancements into the 21st century. Clarité's three-way anti-yellowing system keeps colors clear and true. The ultra-purified formula with its advanced initiators and a built-in UV inhibitor provide the assurance of quality and long-lasting beauty. Carefully engineered polymer particles mean reduced sculpting effort and diminished filing time. Four stunning shades, spa white, sheer pink, crystal clear, and simply natural provide the means for perfect pinks and whites plus a range of service options. And the odor and dust free formula is perfect for your full service salon or spa, providing an opportunity to attract new clients for ever changing their perception of artificial nail enhancements. After all, the most beautiful natural looking nails are not necessarily all natural. Clarité from OPI represents the newest in odor-free technology. If you haven't already purchased Clarité, a variety of kits are available to help you get started. And be sure to take advantage of an OPI education event in your area that will forever change the way you do nails. For more information, call 1-800-341-9999. Well, that's about going to wrap it up for this edition of Profiles for the 1999 Aesthetics, Cosmetics, and Spa Conference here in Orlando. I hope you've enjoyed the show. We'd like to thank all those companies that allowed us to uh, come into their place of business to give you an idea of what they're all about. Also, remind you, if you just tuned in, the show will repeat again in just a few minutes, and you can see it in its entirety. So if you missed something, it's about to start all over again. I'd like to thank also Gordon Miller for bringing us up here to Chicago, where we had a great time visiting with the 300 cows on parade. We hope you've enjoyed watching Profiles, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.